Hey guys, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a typical Modesty Monday that I normally did in the past. I'm just going to be talking through some scripture and just like what God's doing in my life recently and just what he's been putting on my heart to speak about and share about because I feel like it's something we can all relate to. And I really hope that this encourages you in your faith and that it's just um, something that really helps you to really check what's going on in your life with your relationship with God. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to vote for videos. Um, I will be doing a fitness series. So I did healthy snacks. I'm going to do more of those videos, but I'm going to be doing like my workout routine on Saturday, I believe. So be on the lookout for that because I'm really excited about that. I've been getting more and more into fitness and I just really love it. It's something that's become a really huge part of my life. And I really have just become a lot more confident working out and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy um, today's video and let's just get right into it. So for those of you who don't know, who didn't watch my last video, um, I started my internship recently and that has just been such a huge blessing and encouragement in my life. I'm working at a church. Um, it's a pretty big church. It's very similar to my childhood church, which has been really awesome to see because that's something that I solidly believe in and the doctrine that they teach is like super great for me. And um, yeah, it's just been a huge blessing in my life. Um, and I can already, like it's just crazy to me because I can already tell that um, it's a job that I'm really gonna love. Um, I've been sitting in on meetings recently. That's basically what this job pretty much is. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more added to it once I get further into the internship, but I literally just started last week. So it's very new, very, very new. Um, but just being able to sit in on meetings about sermons and scripture and what it's going to be like being able to bounce ideas off of people, like it's been really just something that I can already tell this is a job that God has definitely placed me in for a reason and it's something that I'm going to be talented in when because he's blessed me with those gifts to be able to do what I need to do for this job and I'm just so literally so grateful it's like worship leading is something that I am so passionate about and it's what I love and it's what I really feel God has called me to and um I'm just so 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 blessed in my life but anyways, this week recently and throughout out like COVID and everything, I really feel like God has shifted my focus on like just like ways that I've changed in my life and how I need to grow and maybe ways that I've changed in like a negative way and not a positive way. And he's really just um, pushed me to stay in the spirit and continue to just grow in the gospel, humble myself before him and really just know that I'm wrong sometimes. And one thing that I learned um, that the pastor, it's really crazy because it, God definitely speaks to you in ways that you need to hear. And one thing I really learned is like ways that I can be better as far as doing good and having a positive attitude and um, just continuing to like stay in the spirit and dwell on scripture because that's so important to grow. And even though I was going to a Christian school, I just had a very bad year where I just was not myself, was not um, really who God wanted me to be. And through that, I mean, God has definitely grown me and changed me a lot, but also I've allowed other things to influence me and not um in a good way so i really just want to share this and it's about doing good and this is something that the pastor spoke on this um sunday and it just was like i needed to hear that you know because i feel like a lot of times we can feel like oh i'm doing the right thing um because we think it's right instead of like what god thinks is right or what other people think is right, you know? Um, so it's Titus 3 is the verse that I'm reading from. And it says, remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient to, 
be ready to do whatever is good. To slanders, no one to be peaceably and considerate and always to be gentle towards everyone. At one time, we were too foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by grace, we might become hires, having a hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying, and I want to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone, but avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about uselessness. Warn and de devise a person once and then warn them a second time. After that, have nothing to do with them. You may be sure that such people are wrapped in sinful and self-condemned. So this verse really talks about devoting yourself to God. And I feel like that's really so powerful for right now, just like all of us to be looking to God and devoting ourselves to doing good. Even though, you know, the circumstances may be challenging, God is still doing good. And um, we need to be doing good. Um, and God will be faithful to us through that. So... Yeah, I think if you put in effort and you want to grow, God is going to grow you. And he's so faithful in that. So I hope this really encouraged you. And yeah, have a good Monday.